In 2019, Kawhi Leonard won an NBA championship with the Toronto Raptors, but that same year he left and joined the Clippers. What if this never happened and Kawhi decided to stay with the team that he won a ring with? We're going to re-simulate to see what happens. Year number one, he's All-NBA second team and he also made All-Defensive first team. He led the team in scoring, and in this sim, injuries are off, so we'll be seeing Kawhi play peak basketball without injuries. Kawhi's alongside two all-star caliber players in Fred Van Vliet and Pascal Siakam, and that led to a three-seed season, 54 wins. In the first round, we have the Miami Heat. This Heat team went to the finals in 2020, so we've definitely got a challenge ahead of us, and they're up 3-1. to one. Can we somehow pull off this comeback? We take one game, we take two games, and we're headed to a game seven. We're going to simcast this game. Okay, I pressed the wrong button. But we we were going to simcast the game seven. Ultimately, we got out there, out of there winning by 15, so it didn't really matter too much. A big win, and Kawhi Leonard is stepping up his game in the playoffs. Kawhi's a playoff player. We've seen that from him time and time again. Round number two, we have the Brooklyn Nets. This Brooklyn Nets team is pretty solid. I mean, they've got KD and Kyrie. They were the number two seed, and they're coming off a seven-game series against New York. Early on, they were cooking us. They were up 2-0, but we bounced back and took the next two games. And now we've got a game number five that we're going to go ahead and simcast. Unfortunately, this one wasn't even close. We lost by 26 points despite a 33-point effort from Kawhi Leonard. KD and Kyrie were just too much. Now we've got to see if the guys can step up with the season on the line in game six. And again, they can't. 40 points from Kawhi Leonard, but the supporting cast just wasn't there. A triple-double from Siakam, but only 12 points. While the Nets, they got over 30 from Karis LeVert. Ultimately, though, the Nets got swept the next round and the Sixers won the finals. And in the offseason, our team pretty much looks the same. We saw some development from OG and Anobi, but that was pretty much it. Going into season number two, we saw Damian Lillard as a sixth man on the Portland Trailblazers. Also, Lucas Lucas is coaching. I haven't seen him coaching in a minute. I used to see him in the old 2Ks. On the All-NBA second team, we have Kawhi Leonard, also All-Defensive first team. Kawhi definitely locks down on the defensive side of the ball. In this first round, we got the New York Knicks. This Knicks team is probably going to be tough, but before we get into that, how is Dame coming off the bench for Chris Paul? Like, what is going on in Portland, man? And looking at the season stats for the squad, everybody was solid for us. We actually ended up picking up Clint Capella. We made quite a few different trade moves. Unfortunately, Raptors legend Kyle Lowry is gone, but I think it's for the better. Clint Capella is definitely a solid pickup. In round number one against New York, we were able to beat them in six. Now we've got the reigning champion Philadelphia 76ers. They picked up Bradley Beal. They've also got THT and Al Horford. We'll see how this one goes. Definitely a really good squad. Game one goes to them. They take the first two games. It's two to one. Okay, we're bouncing back in a big way. And now we have a pivotal game five here. And in game five, we've got a close one. Down by one point here. The Sixers have the ball and Embiid misses the close shot. Now we have a chance to put this one away. Norman Powell has the basketball and the Sixers are going to decide to foul. This game is definitely still within reach for them, even if Powell hits both, which he does go ahead and do. And now the Sixers are looking to make a play. Bradley Beal has a wide open George Niang and Niang misses an easy look. I can't believe he missed that one. And now Fred Van Vliet's on the line. He ices one, and that's going to do it. We win the game. Brad Beal with 28, but Kawhi had 36. We see him do it in the playoffs time and time again. Unfortunately, the Sixers bounce back in the next one. We probably should have simcasted that one as it was a one-point game. Now we've got a game seven here, though. Our season is on the line, and again, we go down in a winner-go-home situation in the second round, just like last season. Last season, we lost in six. This season, we lost in seven. Last season, it was Brooklyn, and this year, it's Philadelphia. Unfortunate, as a good run for Kawhi Leonard comes to an end, it was a tough game seven for him, and the Sixers are going to win a championship led by Ben Simmons. Kawhi was a free agent this offseason, but 
he opted to return to Toronto. But unfortunately, we lost out on Pascal Siakam in free agency. He's gone from the team. Are we going to be able to keep doing what we're doing without him? Kawhi was still all NBA third team, all defensive first, and we had a good season, but Siakam was an important part of what we do. Luckily though, we found an unsung hero this season, somebody who we didn't expect to hoop like this, Cam Reddish, over 17 points per game after we picked him up on the minimum. What a pickup for the team. Round number one, we got the Cleveland Cavaliers. Despite them being the lower seed, they gave us some comp. And we're headed to a Game 7 here against Cleveland. Nothing can be easy for this Raptors team. And in Game 7, we do go ahead and get it done. A 28-point dub. Norman Powell came up big with 33. And Kawhi Leonard, a massive first round to get his Raptors out of there. And now we're moving on to the second round. That's been a big hump for us so far. We've struggled making it out of that second round. So let's see if we can do it this time. The Boston Celtics no longer have Jalen Brown, so that definitely makes things a little bit easier on us. Unfortunately, though, they take the first game, and they're up 2-1 to one in the series. Like I said, nothing can be easy. As we head into a pivotal game number 5, we need this one. We don't want to go down 3-2 to two in the series, and luckily we get it. Kawhi Leonard with 28, and look who it is. Cam Reddish, 18 points. Oh my goodness, he's been trashed this series. Never mind, man. And also, if you're watching this far in the video, I'd really appreciate if you consider subscribing. I've got a video coming out soon that I'm really excited about. I've been working on it a lot. Anyway, we go ahead and we get out of there in game six, and we've got the Philadelphia 76ers in the conference finals. We're going to take game one. We're going to lose in game number two. But we take game three. A solid start, but again, it can't be easy, man. We're headed to a game five, and the Philadelphia 76ers are going to win it. So to advance to the finals, we're going to have to win two in a row. And for us to win two in a row, we need more than 15 points from Kawhi Leonard. And unfortunately, we end up losing in game six, and it's another loss. We can't make it to the finals so far in this video. The team is still pretty much the same. It's the team, man. And it's all right, but we might need some type of move to spice things up because we've done well in the regular season, but we haven't done too well in the playoffs. No finals appearances so far. Also, bronze on the Pacers. That's kind of crazy. Kawhi continues to do his Kawhi thing, and we were the number one seed this year. 52 wins in the East was kind of trash this year, but hey, We'll take it. Kawhi Leonard, of course, led the team in scoring almost 30 points per game. And Fred Van Vliet and OG Ananobi both gave us 18.6. Daniel Otoru ended up averaging 14 and a half. So that's really good. We'll take it. Round number one, we've got the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Cavs. They're no comp for us this year. We went to a game seven with them last year, but they're the eight seed this year. We're not too worried about them. Round number two, we got the Boston Celtics, Jason Tatum and company. We take the first two games, they take one, and they're going to go ahead and take another. Now we're headed into a game five that we need to win. They've won two in a row against us, and we're barely able to get it done in the clutch. I didn't expect us to actually win that one. We ended up scoring 47 points in the fourth quarter and coming back in the final minutes to get a dub. Kawhi is continuing to hoop in the playoffs, and Jason Tatum's been doing crazy stuff in this sim, but we were able to take him down in this one. Unfortunately, he did some more crazy stuff in game six. 49 points. Don't know what y'all want Kawhi to do about that one. Jason Tatum was just hooping. In game seven, we've got a close one. Kawhi has the basketball up by one point. Can Kawhi make a big play here? He's in the post. He swings it to OG. OG misses, but Clint Capella tips it home. Now it is a three-point game. The Celtics need an answer here. What a play from Clint Capella. But Jason Tatum comes right back. Now it is a one-point game again. Kawhi gets the screen. Kawhi, a good look for mid-range. He misses, but Clint Capella, he does it again. Do the Celtics have another answer? A good look from the corner for Derek White is off. Wow, what a play. W multiple plays, actually, from Clint Capella to secure this dub. Wow, Clint Capella, 17 and 20 in this one. Honestly, all our guys were hooping, but we're in the conference finals. We're here, we're back. Can we have a different result this time and actually make it to the finals? 
The Sixers take game one and game two and game three. We might be cooked, but we're going to bounce back and take the next two. Okay, well, well, all that excitement for nothing. We lose in six, and the Sixers get another NBA championship. whoop de doop congratulations ben, congratulations, ben Simmons and company, Joel Embiid and company, I guess, man. I, I can't believe we're losing to Ben Simmons in these basketball games. We, we got to lock in. Come on, Kawhi. It's time to lock in. Time to go crazy. He's once again all NBA second team. We see him do this all the time. We do not care. Do something in the playoffs. Now Bron's on the Bulls. He's just on a team hopping journey or something, man. I don't know what he's doing. But we are, again, a good regular season team. 47 wins. That's that's not even good. We, we suck, man. Can we just win some playoff series, please? Kawhi Leonard, almost 32 points per game. We picked up Malik Monk, Sacramento Kings legend. Herb Jones played one game for us and then dipped, I guess. Tristan Thompson is here. Let's go ahead and let's get into it. We've got the New York Knicks in the first round. We're just going to simulate the whole thing, and we go ahead and get out of there in six. They low-key gave us a scare early on in that series, but we made it. Round number two, we got the Miami Heat. Tyler Hero is a 91 overall. He's going crazy in this. Can we actually take them down, though? Okay, we're back in the con. Oh, my gosh, man. It, of course, it had to be the Philadelphia 76ers. They got Bo Cruz. Let's go ahead and let's get into it. Game number one goes to Philadelphia. Come on, guys. At least don't let us get cooked. Oh, I accidentally pressed him around, but we got out of there. We won it by 17 points in game seven. Kawhi is just hooping. He's doing his thing. Sorry, Joel. Sorry, Benjamin. We're here. We got the Memphis Grizzlies, Ja Morant and company here in the finals. Please lock in for this one. Guys, I don't think we're locked in. We're down three to zero. Okay, we take a game. Well, maybe two. All right, we'll start sim casting. Let him cook. Let him cook. And in game six, with our season on the line, we're down by a point. Come on, Kawhi. Lock in for me. Kawhi. Oh, the nice mid range. Beautiful. He got to his spot and hit it. We're up by three. Just get a stop for me, guys. Ja Jakob Pertle gives a screen to Ja Jakob. Jakob the lamp. Oh, okay, okay. Just. Get another bucket, though. It'll be all right. Kawhi Leonard has the basketball. Kawhi. Kawhi kicks it out to Fred Van Vliet. Freddie V. Fredward McBuckets gives it to Kawhi, and Kawhi misses it. Guys, please don't do this to me. Now, Denny of Dia has the ball. Denny. Denny kicks it out to Ja. Ja for the three. Denny gets the rebound. Denny smokes the lay. And Jakob gets the rebound. Box out. What are y'all doing? Okay, we got another chance at it, though. Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi gets to the basket. Garbage shot is up and it's off. Beautiful. Beautiful execution in the clutch. We were up by three points. What happened? Ja makes both free throws. And now it's a three-point game. Great. We're, we went from up three to down three. Kawhi, do something, please. Kawhi, in the post, kicks it out. Terrible shot, and it's off. Wow. What what a way to end this game and this series. What? A, wow. Guys, really? Kawhi Leonard, 27 points, seven turnovers. It's crazy, man. Take care of the rock. You're, you're not Jalen Brown with his left hand. Kawhi with 35 points, but per game in the playoffs, but Ja had like 49 to drop us off. He had a ridiculous finals. Kawhi's back for another year. He's back for more. We'll see what he can do. Does the board man get paid? Find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Okay, Kawhi is on the All-NBA second team. Kawhi, he's all-defensive second team. The fall-off. I feel like we've seen him on all-defensive first team year after year, but it was another good season for Kawhi Leonard and company. Jaden McDaniels averages almost 25 points per game after we pick him up on a minimum. What a crazy pickup. Masai Ujiri was cooking the Raptors GM. He was in his bag. He was in cross, cross, tween, tween, step backs, hezzies from half court and stuff. Round number one, we got the Brooklyn Nets. They still got Katie and Kyrie in this alternate universe. They didn't request trades. It's a four or five matchup. Let's lock in for this one. And we do. It's an easy gentleman sweep. Round number two, we got the Chicago Bulls. They took out the Philadelphia 76ers for us in the first round. Thank goodness, man. I did not want to face that team anymore. And we're going to take game one. We're going to take game two. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much. That, that was an easy win. Thank you so much for beating the Sixers so we could get to the conference finals. Okay, this Hawks team, though, is kind of crazy. And I'm scared because the Hawks, they're a 2K glitch team, low-key. And that's without having a crazy roster. This roster is kind of nice.
But we've got a chance here. Y'all got to actually play in these big games. Y'all got to come to play because we've been selling in these big games and we do it again. What are we, baby Keem? We just did it again and did it again. Bro, 41 from Shea is crazy. What are you doing, Kawhi? 16 points? And, and you're giving up 41 to Shea? Lock in on defense or offense. Pick a struggle. You can't struggle on defense and offense. We do take game number six. That That's great. Shea's still giving us 44, though. Let's go ahead and let's get to it. Game number seven, I'm not very optimistic. And there's a reason why, is there a reason why I should be? Because we lost again. We just keep blowing these big games. Kawhi Leonard, 18 points. Why are you taking 13 shots in a game seven? T Ty Jerome nearly outscored you. And Shea just continues to hoop. Shea went crazy. And he won a championship. Congratulations. I owe you an apology. I didn't know, I wasn't familiar that you could go that crazy. I wasn't familiar with your game. This season, Kawhi Leonard took home an MVP. That's right. MVP Kawhi. D ben Simmons DPOY. But hey, Ben's been going crazy in this video. It seems like the Sixers take over quite a few of these re-simulation videos. Kawhi was also on the all-defensive first team. We're the number one seed. I mean, of course, we've got the MVP averaging almost 36 points per game. What, we, what else would you expect from the guys? And you check out the stats. Fred Van Vliet was up there in scoring. You had OG. We've been picking up some good players on minimum contracts. Darius Baisley did his thing on a minimum deal for us. So Masai Ujiri, the Raptors GM, he's been going crazy in this sim. Unfortunately, our team hasn't though, because I, I just nonchalantly simulate the round as we lose in six games to the Brooklyn Nets. Wow, the eight seed. We're really going down to the eight seed. Now you're the MVP. How are you going to lose to the eight seed? The efficiency was trash in the first round too. What's going on, Kawhi? I, I, I don't even know what to say. Kawhi Leonard, you've played great basketball in this video, but just not at the right times. RJ Barrett finals MVP. We're ending the video. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great day. Be sure to like and subscribe.